I'm Bob Dessman. I'm the director of the McGovern Institute for Brain Research at MIT. One of my first experiences in college was we had a, a special uh, January term experience where I lived for a month on a ward of a state mental hospital. I can't give up the memories of the people who were suffering and their families, and it, it stuck with me. The emotional impact of losing your life to a serious mental illness. One in four families has at least one member with a mental disorder. I go around the country and I give talks to groups of people, and after the talks I'm always approached by people who tell me about their own experiences, their experiences with a son or a daughter or other family member, and, and the frustration they have that research hasn't given them an answer to their problems. The basic research enterprise at MIT as a whole, and McGovern Institute in particular, is fantastic. People are working on a fundamental understanding of how the mind works, the biology of mental processes, developing technology for understanding those neural circuits, and then to apply that knowledge to help people suffering from many forms of brain disorders. In addition to my role as director of the McGovern Institute, I also run my own lab within the Institute. And my main driving research interest is trying to understand how the brain pays attention. At any moment, our bodies and our sense organs are bombarded with information coming from everywhere, even from the soles of your feet up through the background sounds in the room and so on. They're all competing for our attention. And so how we allocate our attention is really critical in normal human cognition. That's what we've been trying to do in our lab is to understand the neural basis for how it is that we can focus our attention. One of the discoveries in the lab that I'm most excited about is our very recent results showing that in order to focus attention, we need an interaction between what's known as your prefrontal cortex, sort of the planning centers of your brain, and your visual cortex, that is the cortex that's processing all the visual information coming in. And what we found is that when you need to focus your attention on a visual object, these two parts of the brain really start communicating with each other in a synchronized way. It's what's known as gamma synchrony. And that, we believe, is gonna be the key to understanding how it is that we focus on one thing and not all the distracting information. Much of the work that we've been doing in attention has been in animals, but a technology I've become very excited about in the last few years is known as magnetoencephalography. And in this technology, people sit in a machine that looks like sort of a giant hair dryer from the 1950s. And with they're just sitting up in a chair and their head in this machine, we can measure the precise timing of neural activity in different parts of the brain while people are doing cognitive operations like attention. So we can study these synchronized interactions, for example, between the executive control and visual processing centers in the brain. Ten years ago, if you asked me, what's our chances for a major breakthrough in the treatment of any number of brain disorders, I would have been pretty pessimistic. But just in the last three or four years, with all the advances we've seen in understanding the genetic basis of, of brain disease, I've become much more hopeful. And, and I, am, I am expecting that we will have major new treatments in my lifetime. <laughs>